The blue kachina is the warning sign that began 2017 and the gradual appearance of it for a seven period time. During that seven period time, it's a sign for us to go back to the ways, the natural ways of things, the natural order of the universe, simplicity in all things. And not far behind it will be the red kachina purifier. I'm going to have to read this one. It's a bit lengthy, so bear with me. Not far behind the twins will come the purifier, the red star kachina, who will bring the day of purification. On this day, the earth, her creatures, and all lives as we know it will change forever. There will be messengers that will precede the coming of the purifier. They will leave messages on those on earth who remember the old ways. The messages will be found written in the living stones, through the sacred grains, and even the waters. Crop circles have been found in ice. The purifier will issue forth a great red light. All things will change in their manner of being. Every living thing will be offered the opportunity to change from the largest to the smallest thing. Those who return to the ways given to us in the original teachings and live a natural way of life will not be touched by the coming purifier. So just so you know, it's very possible to live two realities where it can rain on your home and it'll be sunshine on mine based on the vibration or the frequency that is in my home and in yours. And they will survive and build a new world. Only in the ancient teachings will the ability to understand the message be found. So you must study. It is important to understand that these messages will be found upon every living thing, even within our bodies, your DNA, even within the drop of blood. All life forms will receive the message from the twins, those that fly, the plants, even the rabbits. And if you notice on the news, they say they see cows walking in perfect straight lines or some of them just circling, just in a continuous circle and don't stop for days. The appearance of the twins begin a period of seven years, which will be the final opportunity to change our ways. Everything we experience is all a matter of choice. We've all been given free will. Many will appear to have lost their souls in these final days. So intense will the nature of the changes be that those who are weak in spiritual awareness will go insane, for we are nothing without spirit. So, when you see all these people with these cases of mental illnesses and they're giving them different names, it's all the same thing. You have not been fulfilled. You've lived a physical life and you're a spiritual being having a physical experience. Your spirit is in conflict with your physical, and that's what they call your mental illness. They will disappear, for they are just hollow vessels for anything to use. If you don't fill the vessel with spirit and belief, then you are open for more non-benevolent beings to jump right inside you. Life will be so bad in the cities that many will choose to leave this plane in whole groups. Only those who return to the old ways will be able to find peace of mind. For in the earth we shall find relief from the madness that will be all around us. It will be a very hard time for women and children. So all you women talking about you don't need no man, I'm telling you right now, you better buckle up. For they will be shunned, and many of the children in these times will be unnatural. Some being from the stars, some from past worlds, and some will be even created by men. You think clones is a lie? Even the Hopi prophecy knew they were going to clone each other. Some will be created by man in an unnatural manner, and will be soulless. Many of the people in this time will be empty in spirit. They will have sampaku, meaning no life force in their eyes. As we get close to the time of the arrival of the purifier, there will be those who walk as ghosts through the cities. Through the canyons, they will have constructed their man-made mountains. Those that walk through these places will be very heavy in their walk. It will appear almost painful as they take each step, for they will be disconnected from their spirit and earth. After the arrival of the twins, they will begin to vanish before your eyes like much smoke. Others will have great deformities, both in mind and upon the bodies. There will be those who will walk in the body that are not from this reality. Remember, they're getting you prepared for aliens now, because they know these things are coming. For many of the gateways 
that once protected us will be open. The shield that has protected the earth above and below will be open. So you're going to get what they call UFOs coming from up top. And you're going to get creatures from the second dimension coming up top. There will be much confusion. Confusion between the sexes. This is definitely straightforward today. Where now they're telling you there's another sex other than male and female. And I got to look at a man and I got to call him a woman. There will be confusion between the sexes and the children and their elders. Life will get very perverted. There will be little social order in these times. Many will ask for the mountains themselves to fall upon them just to end their misery. Still, others will be appear as if untouched by what is occurring. The ones who remember the original teachings and have reconnected their hearts and spirit. Again, we can live two realities. Not because Rome is falling on you means it's going to fall on me. Because what would be my reward for following the orders of the Father and the order of the universe? Those who remember who their mother and father is. When the purifier comes, we will see him first as a small red star, which will come very close and sit in our heavens watching us, watching us to see how well we have remembered the sacred teachings. This purifier will show us many miraculous signs in our heavens. In this way, we will know the creator is not a dream. Even those who do not feel their connection with spirit will see the face of the creator across the sky. Things unseen will be felt very strongly. Many things will begin to occur that will not make sense for reality will be shifted back in and out of the dream state. There will be many doorways to the lower world that will open up at this time. The lower world is the second dimension. Things long forgotten will come back to remind us of past creations. All scientific experiments with DNA of animal and man and all those creatures created, you're going to see them. All living things will want to be present for this day when time ends. And we enter forever the cycle of the fifth world, fifth dimension. We will receive many warnings allowing us to change our ways from below the earth as well as above. Then one morning in a moment, we will awaken to the red dawn. The sky will be the color of blood. Many things will then begin to happen that right now we are not sure of their exact nature. For much of the reality will not be as it is now. There will be many strange beasts upon the earth in those days, some from the past and some that we have never seen. The nature of mankind will appear strange in these times when we walk between worlds and we will house many spirits even within our bodies. After a time, we will again walk with our brothers from the stars and rebuild earth, but not until the purifier has left his mark upon the universe. No living thing will go untouched here or in the heavens. The way through this time is said it is to be found in our hearts, reuniting with our spiritual self, getting simple and returning to living with and upon the earth and in harmony with her creatures, remembering that we are the caretakers, the fire keepers of the spirit. Our relatives from the stars are coming to see how well we have fared on our journey. I'm not trying to convince you or nobody of nothing. What is, is, and what will be, will be. My job is just to spark you. If it resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, then it just doesn't. But the message has to be given.